Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Anna Money Stocks. Today is September 28, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, it looks like we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures basically flat this morning, trading at 21.52 and three quarters per contract. Yesterday, the market did catch a pretty good bid. You could see markets were higher right around 3.30 in the morning, then came down a little bit and now are sitting at the unchanged level. So all in all, we're looking at a flat market ahead of the opening bell, and we'll see what it gives us today. All, when you look at this market from yesterday, though, uh, it looks like the Hillary Clinton uh, victory in the debate did give the market a pop yesterday. So we'll see if that can continue. I'm not so sure it will. A lot of steam has already come out of that debate, and people are realizing it's really just more of the same. All right, let's take a look here at some stocks that are making some noise. First, we're going to look at is Nike, NKE. They reported earnings yesterday. After the closing bell, the stock closed at $55.34. Stock is now trading at $54.26. So basically a little bit underwater. It did trade down uh, right after the earnings announcement to as low as $52.60. Now trying to creep back up. So all in all, when I look at this stock, there seems to be a real wall of resistance. I'm going to say right around the 56 and a quarter, 56 and a half level if it does trade higher. If it starts to sell off, it's going to be tough to get through the low of yesterday, which was, I believe, 53.88. If it does that, though, watch out because things could start to get interesting on the downside. We will be looking at Nike once the opening bell rings. So if you want to come along and trade with us, come take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. All right, let's take a look here at Sonic, S-O-N-C. It looks like um, they report in earnings as well. Uh, looks like right now the stock is trading at 25.80, closed at 27.44. So that's a pretty good haircut. I am seeing some minor support around 25.40. So keep that on the radar today, right around 25.40. There should be a fair amount of support. If we break through that, this stock could be in some trouble. Um, and we'll keep it on our radar. But right now, 2540 seems to be some intraday support. The 200-day moving average is around 2350. Should we go lower? Let's take a look at TPX. Everybody knows this this ticker symbol. Uh, this is Temper Sealy Bed Maker. Stock is getting hammered today. Closed at $74.45. Reported, um, I believe, and cut its outlook. And now the stock is trading at $56.75. This is a huge haircut down here. And this stock actually can go lower. The only level that really interests me for this name today would be around $43, if my mathematics are correct. Uh, in sympathy to TPX, you're also going to look at SCCC, which is, or excuse me, SCSS, which is Select Comfort. This is down in sympathy as well, close at $25.12. Now trading at 23.19, and uh, again, uh, this is not a pretty picture either. So be a little bit careful ahead of the opening bell. We'll see where this goes, and we'll look at both of these names once the opening bell rings. But right now, sit tight. There's really not much to do at the moment. Let's take a look at Cintas, S-T-A-S. Uh, CTAS is the ticker symbol there. Stock is trading at 119, closed at 113.43. So this looks like it's up on earnings. Good little move there. Um, I'm thinking 122 or so is a major, major resistance level. So again, um, this is making new all time highs or very close to it, I should say. But if it gets to around 122 or so, watch for this thing to stall out. If you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, there's really nothing I would do here at this moment. Let's take a look at BlackBerry. It looks like they had earnings. BBRY is the ticker symbol. And um, what you're going to see here is stock caught a nice little bid right after the earnings announcement went all the way up to 880. Now trading at 809, closed at 788. So all in all, um, BlackBerry a little bit uh, higher from where it closed yesterday, but definitely well off its intra-morning or intraday highs. So again, keep that on the radar. Um, I'm not seeing anything one way or the other just yet. If the stock does get down to around $7.15, I do think you could get a scalp out of it on the long side. But again, $7 stock, you really can't look for all that much. So be a little bit careful there. Macy's is in the news today. Stock was downgraded. Closed at $36.60, now trading at 36.21. I don't really see a lot of downside in Macy's. 
By some chance, it gets down to 33.90. That is your scalp level for Macy's today. Baidu also downgraded. If you take a look at Baidu, leading Chinese ADR. Stock closed at 190.83 yesterday. Now trading at 186.60. So this is under some pressure. Again, we'll look at this once the opening bell rings today. Not much I'm looking to do with it right off the bat. But um, again, um, this is a stock that I think is probably nearing a support level right now. So um, we'll watch this one once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Deutsche Bank today. Deutsche Bank catching a little bit of a bid. Stock closed at 11.92, trading at 12.20 now. It looks like they sold off one of their life insurance companies. So already starting to sell off parts to raise capital. I think they're going to bring in about a billion dollars on this sale. But um, either way, this stock is in some serious, serious problems and has uh, some more money to raise if um, if the charts are telling us uh, what's going on there. So again, Deutsche Bank um, selling a life insurance company, getting a good little pop, but I wouldn't own it uh, at all right now. All right, uh, let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading today uh, lower by two and a half points. Gold was down yesterday. If you take a look at the GLD, you're going to see that's trading at around 126.33. No play on it. Gold still looks like it is continuing to pull back a little bit, but we will be watching it closely over the next couple of days. Crude oil this morning is up 40 cents to $45.09 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good oil ETF, you'll see that's trading at 1028, closed at 1015 yesterday. So there we are. We're going to leave it here short and sweet. Again, if you want to trade alongside of us, come take the seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat. You'll see everything that we are doing there. We've had a great 2016, and we're going to look to keep that going today, especially if we get a little bit of volatility. With that being said, everybody have a great session, and we will see you on the charts.